Now, how do AI algorithms learn from data? The right way to answer this question is that though it is correct that AI algorithms use data to establish uh, a learned trait, it is the type of data that directly impacts the kind of AI algorithms that are applied for optimum results. Now, what I mean by this is to say that the type of data impacts the type of AI algorithm that is ideally suited for the best outcomes. For example, image data and the ability to learn from them drives a certain type of AI processing. One such type is called the convolutional neural network. Um, whereas if we are learning off text, then we need algorithms that are designed to deal with sequential data, where context and order becomes more important. In that case, we use a family of neural networks called recurrent neural networks. Now, let's understand RNNs a bit better. Now, imagine you're reading a book. You start with the first page, then the second, and so on. And, and you remember kind of what happened in the first page when you're on the second page, hopefully. Uh, this helps you understand the whole story and the context of the story in a better way. So recurrent neural networks, RNNs, uh, work very similar to that. They work like your memory. When reading a story, but instead of one page, they read one word at a time. And remember what kind of came before. This helps them to understand things that happen in a sequence, like the order of words in a sentence or even events in a story. RNNs read one word at a time and remember each word to understand the whole sentence. For example, if the sentence is, I love pizza, then the RNN remembers I when it reads the word love, and then also remembers I love when it reads the word pizza. So just like you remember the start of a story while reading you know, sort of the next set of pages, RNNs remember uh, what they read earlier to make sense of what they read next. And we often call this the hidden state. There are a number of important technical constructs within RNN, which I would certainly expand on, but there are certain parts that one needs to understand in order to master sort of this whole uh, uh, field or, or set of neural networks called RNNs. Uh, those are hidden state, you know, you've got time step, you've got recurrent connection, you've got back propagation through time, BPTT, You've got LSTM, which is the long short-term memory. You've got gated recurrent unit, GRUs. You've got activation functions, input-output layers, sequence, cell states, and gates.